Alright, so hey guys, welcome to another Warframe video, and today we're gonna check out some of the most fun and or eye-bleeding weapons I would definitely recommend you try on Mirage. So the first weapon I would highly recommend you give a shot on Mirage is Revenant Signature Shotgun, the Phantasma. This shotgun is fun on its own, but when you put it on Mirage, both the primary and secondary fire become quite ridiculous indeed. I do prefer the secondary fire a little bit more though, because it's just fun to carpet bomb the towel set with your clones. Though you do have to be a little bit careful with this one, especially if you're running a squisher mirage, which is something that I would never recommend, because the secondary fire will do self damage. Next up we have an all time fan favorite, the staticor. This one bumps it up a little bit in the eye bleed department, especially if you choose the right colors, i.e. bright red, white, yellow, blue, green or purple, but it's not as bad as some of the other weapons on this list because you can actually see where you're going most of the time. Now the static ore, just like the Phantasma, is just a fun weapon on its own, so putting it on a Mirage just multiplies the amount of ridiculousness you can get out of this weapon, especially when you're tap firing it. So this is just another weapon that I would highly recommend you try out on Mirage. Now, are you tired of actually seeing where you're going and knowing what you're doing in Warframe? Yes? Well don't worry, because there's a weapon for you and it is the Sonic ore. My god this thing is ridiculous with a bright energy color on Mirage. The bright flash this produces every time you pull the trigger completely breaks the camera and it takes it a solid second or three sometimes to readjust from the overexposure from the explosion. It is magnificent. Now just in case you don't actually want to blind yourself and or everyone else and you just want to make your slash everyone else's eyes bleed, you can never go wrong with the OG eye gouger, the Sinoid Simulor. The particles, my god, the particles, there's so many of them and they're fluttering about. It's ridiculous and it sometimes even tanks my performance a little bit. It is as bad as it has ever been, though it's still not the most eye-bleeding weapon in this game. Because that honor goes to none other than the Fluctus. And I'm just gonna shut up, apologize for the frame rate, and let you watch it for yourself. I mean, what is there to say? Just look at it. It's ridiculous. I wonder if you'll ever get anything more ridiculous than this. I don't think so, but I've been wrong on this before, because I said the same thing when we got the Sinoid Simular, and here we are. Also, I am not running on the ludicrous particles here. This is just on high. Moving on from there, we have a weapon that's more fun and it's actually quite mild in the eye bleed department, the Phage Shotgun. This is a weapon that you don't see all that often anymore, but it's still one of the original ridiculous guns that we got in this game, and I would highly recommend you give it a shot, especially on Mirage, because then you get three sets of tentacles that are jiggling about, killing stuff, and it's just really funny to run around with and freak people out because they have no idea what it is. Next on the menu, we have a weapon that is an absolute loser in the eye bleed department, but it is a definite winner in the fun department. The Supra Vando, or just the standard Supra. I always say that this is the closest thing we have to a minigun in this game, and then people go, but the Gorgons, and I go, no, you're wrong, it's just a really fun weapon, it's the closest thing we have to a minigun, and it's just awesome, even on its own, but when you then put it on Mirage, and maybe even get the infinite ammo corruption, it becomes insanely satisfying to use. Now, what kind of a list would this be without one of my personal favorite shotguns, the Dracoon? This has been one of my favorite guns in this game for a very long time. It is a shotgun that fires a hell of a lot of shrapnel that bounces around. The Dracoon is actually considerably more fun if you're using it wrong, because the idea with the Dracoon is that you charge it all the way, which narrows the spread of the shrapnel, and then it obliterates everything it touches. But if you just tap fire it, the shrapnel is going to be flying all over the place and bouncing off the walls and... Oh, it is just glorious. And the final weapon that I decided to include is the Almighty Tsar. Yes, the Cannon Ball Cannon. This is a weapon that I actually didn't use all that much on Mirage because the self damage was simply way too much. It was even killing my lazy tanky Naros, and that's like ridiculously tanky. But now that they've buffed Cautious Shot so that it reduces self damage by 99%. You can actually use it without having to worry about dying from simply clipping one of the cluster shots that comes out of the original cannonball. And while it's definitely not going to be winning any prizes in the eyeball hemorrhage contests, it is probably the most fun weapon I have ever used on Mirage. So get yourself cautious shot, or don't if you're mad, and give it the old shooty shoot on ye olde Mirage. You won't be disappointed. 
And that's pretty much it. I'm pretty sure I've missed a bunch of fun or ridiculous or eye-bleeding weapons that you can put on Mirage because there's a lot of them, but these are just few of the ones that I personally really enjoy. So I thank you very much for watching. As always, guys, I hope you've enjoyed the video and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.